Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over all of the confirmed golden tickets thus far in Madden 21 Ultimate Team, guys. Now, the thing is, confirmed golden tickets are some of the best videos to make, guys, because, quite honestly, it's fun. We get to, we get to look into the future. We get to imagine. We get to learn about... What golden tickets are coming, kind of what we've been dealing with in terms of golden tickets now. Golden tickets are releasing shortly. The first batch, if I'm not mistaken, releases the 30th, I think. So our first three is how I think I'm dropping it. Will be on the 30th and then weekly after that. From probably, it could be that day, it may not. Because, right, sometimes they drop it on like a special day for the first one. And then they start on a weekly day, right? Sometimes, like, so in the past they've dropped like things on a Friday. But then weekly dropped them, or like they dropped it for the first time on a Saturday, and then weekly dropped it on Fridays. That's like the day they want to throw the content on. So it really just depends. But we're gonna have to see. But I'm definitely excited, guys. We have had a few more, um, you know, revealed since. Now you guys know the basic ones, right? I'm gonna go over. The, I'm gonna go over the new ones. Um, well, I'm gonna start going over the ones that we know already real quick, and then get into the new ones now. Guys, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, head on over to. Uh, Muck Coin Bank and use code Poodle at checkout for a five percent off your order. Now, heading on over, guys, to some of the uh, ones that we do have. So, of course, we have Derek Robertson, which is one of the guys that maybe a lot of people or almost no one would have expected. I believe there's there there's reasoning for why the guy picked him. Not sure if that's public or not, but point is Derek Robertson. I can't find him, guys. He's an outside linebacker. I'm probably spelling his name wrong. He's an outside linebacker for the I believe the Titans. Um. The card, stat-wise, is going to be pretty good. If you looked at the card, you will see. It's actually going to be pretty good. Uh, you know, most cards, golden tickets are going to be I can't find them right now. I can never find them on the block. Next, guys, we got Grant Delpit, as you guys do know. I'm not going to go through the stats. I've went through them before. But we got Grant Delpit, just to recap, right there. Pretty simple, guys. Next, we have Brandon Ayuk, wide receiver for the 49ers. So far, Delpit and Robertson look pretty good. Ayuk doesn't look too good yet, of course. Um, still remains to be seen based on how it's built. And everything, but I, I mean, how Madden gives the stats, right? Because it's just uh, the Blitz Ayuk just doesn't look that good in comparison to upgrades. Then, of course, guys, we have Tim Tebow. Timothy over here is going to be a really, really, really good one. Probably be the best quarterback in the game, depending on his release. That's going to be the only, that's going to be the big selling point. Does he get a good release? And if, like, is his release decent enough with the stats and abilities? If not, you know, people will probably flock to whatever Vic or other quarterback probably is going to be made under the table. Now, those are the known guys. Now, let's get to the new ones here. We have a few new ones. So, first one that's going to be really, really, really good is going to be DK Metcalf. Now, I was always hoping, we, I was always kind of expecting a DK Metcalf, except we got a strong safety version of him and not a wide receiver, right? So, this is the last card we got for him, 94 overall. So, expect a plus 5 increase on this DK Metcalf card. So, let's go over the stats. Off of the rope, guys, he's got 93 speed, 92 excel, 94 tackle, 90 play rec, 94 pursuit, 88 man, 94 zone, 91 hit power. The biggest knock on this car when it came out was, quite honestly, nothing. It got the 99 zone. It got the 95 speed. It got the hit power. It got above 90 man. I mean, like, this car was pretty good. It has 90 catching. Nothing but any 6'3". This card is good. Right? So now we get a plus 5. What does that mean? It means he'll have 99 speed. And more than likely, close to, like, 97, 98 excel. He's going to have 99 speed, though, right? Because his speed will probably be around a 98, 97. Then you get the sprinter. It may even max out, depending on how generous EA wants to be. But point is, he's going to have 99 speed, 97 excel crazy for a strong safety right great tackling gonna be a 99 play rec will be 99 with lockdown pursuit will be like a 98 probably 99 man coverage will be a 99 with lockdown as well if ea is generous um actually it might not be it actually might only be a 98 but that's fine that's fine zone coverage will be a 99 almost by default plus lockdown hit power will be close to 96 97 so this card overall is going to be one of the most stacked strong safeties in the game combine that with the fact that he's six foot three he's gonna have 228 pounds of weight which gives him like a you know a bigger frame strength gonna be close to 90 again agility will be above a 90 um catching's gonna be close to like a 96 95 so he's gonna be one of the best one of the best uh defensive playmakers in terms of what he could do if he can get the ball like getting the ball in his hands carrying's gonna be above 90 which is cool Trucking's going to be like an 80, which is, I guess, cool on the return. Change of direction should hopefully, I mean, it's going to be kind of low, only like an 89. Could be at 90, though, depending on, you know, everything. Ball carry vision going to be low. Uh, stiff arm going to get close to 90 as well. Juke's going to be above an 80. So, guys, on the return, he's going to be pretty good. Spec catch above a 90. Catch and traffic above a 90, guys. 
that's gonna mean that this card's gonna get those crazy Dion animations, except Dion's not six foot three, right? Or with that weight. So DK Metcalf's gonna get some crazy contested, some crazy jump balls. Break tackle might be uh, might be a 90. His deep and short running, if you guys put the right chems on him, could actually be 90s all around the board too, if you can only start him on offense. Tackling gonna be almost a 99, guys. Card's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great, great, uh, great golden ticket. Great, great choice by whoever chose that Metcalf. Uh, great job on him now. Oh, and if, I forgot his boost real quick. Hold up, and his boost. His boosts are pretty good as well. So they decided they were going to boost his block shed. His block shed is going to be uh, boosted. So that's going to be... Let's head on down to that. Block shed is going to be... Where is it? 53, right? So his block shed is going to get to probably like an 80 now. Uh, high 70, low 80. That's fine. That's way more usable than this 53. They're going to also boost his man. So again, there you go. So his man probably would have gotten to about 98 in its own. But now his man will get to 99 for sure. And they're boosting his hit power. Which would have been like a 95, 96. Now it's going to be 99. So he's going to have 90, he's gonna have 99 everything, pretty much. This card's insane. I completely forgot because he's a golden ticket that he's getting his boost. My bad on that one. Next, guys, we have a guy that really didn't get, I'd say, like, any. Literally any upgrades all year. He may have gotten, like, one or two, but I didn't see it on the block. He's got no, no uh, at least no significant ones. Right, so we've got Jalen Rager right here, wide receiver for the Eagles. He was a rookie. This card's going to be getting, like, a plus... Let's say from this point, right? From this point on, he'll get a plus, what is that, 20, 26? So he'll get a 26 upgrades here. So his speed's going to be 99. Speed's going to be 99. Golden ticket. Jumping's going to be 99. Catching, catching traffic is going to be like high 90s. Spec catch will be 99. Short running, medium out running, and deep out running will be mid-high 90s as well. Going to be a great wide receiver all around. And the key to Jalen Rager is going to be his change directions in 83 to 73. He's going to have close to 99 change of direction. He's going to have a pretty good juke as well, like a 90-something juke. He's going to have the great with the ball in his hands, right? Now, if I was the person creating this card, what would I upgrade? Maybe his medium route running. It looks like that's going to be the one that maybe... Well, it depends. It Actually, no. Not his medium route running. It's just hard to tell in these cards sometimes. I think his deep actually might get to 99 on its own. So, short running and medium route running with play fake will actually be by itself. So, I think this card's actually going to be a super good golden ticket in terms of uh, how he can it up. Now, I guess you'd want to touch the behind the card stats... In terms of this card, though, what would you want to touch? His juke move is going to be good. His change of direction is going to be good. I really don't know what you touch. Maybe you do his break tackle and just hope that gets up to a 99 so you can make some big plays in the open field. Uh, maybe you do it to one of his catching stats, like his catching or his catching traffic, which I think is going to be 99 as well. Anyways, so, like, this card's going to be tough. Again, it's tough to see off a card that's this low in overall. But, again, Jalen Rager actually looks... He has the makings of what's going to be a really, really good golden ticket. And the final one, which may not be on the block, guys, which I'll just like briefly mention because it's going to be hard to find, is James Morgan, uh, quarterback. I believe, I don't remember what team he's on, guys. James Morgan, though, he is a uh, quarterback. He's young, may even be a rookie or was a rookie last year. He's like, you know, not not. He's a no name for the most part, but guys, he is being. Uh, I think Throne's helping with this one, so shout out to Throne for that one. Um, the point is, I mean, he's like a. Everyone calls him the Throne lookalike, right? If you guys know the Throne, he's a, his YouTube channel. You definitely know. If you know me, you know Throne, right? I mean. He's, he's pretty big. But, um, point is, James Morgan is like a thrown lookalike, guys. You have to look it up. Go look up online somewhere. James Morgan, quarterback. Take a look at him. I, I believe he was on the he was on the Jets. I, I don't remember. But take a look at him, guys. Super, super good. Great quarter. Uh, he's going to be a great quarterback in Madden, right? Because he's a golden ticket. He's a golden ticket quarterback. So he's going to be great. He's going to be funny, right? It's, like, it's, more, it's more of a meme. But still, nonetheless, we always need a good joke, right? If we're so serious, if we want to do Golden Ticket serious, we'd be like Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, Michael Vick every time. It is it is nice to have a little bit of fun sometimes. It definitely is interesting, you know, picking family members. If you have any guys that are in the NFL that you want a chance at, picking memes. It's, it's definitely for the memes, and it's fun as well. So James Morgan's going to be cool, you know, going to be the Throne lookalike. I know, I know he's going to make some great content for Throne. He's going to be like, I started myself at QB videos, right? It's going to be funny. It's going to be cool. So, yeah, but guys, that's about it. For the video, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. This video, big thumbs up as always, and that's about it. I'm out. Peace.